I can't work out whether he's looking for it or wherever he's going. He's going. Okay, he's going. What is going on guys and welcome back to Verse Torix Gaming Channel. Today we are back on Atrax, we are back on the Alberta Ceratops. We have not been on this profile since pretty much the first episode. We haven't been on it at all. I don't really know what to expect. I don't have much experience with this dinosaur as we already know. In the last episode obviously we had an Iguanodon brother who eventually left to go with the Iguanodon herd. And we also had the Bars family that we eventually left as well. So, Atrax has never been around other Alberta Ceratops. And today we're going to try and find some Alberta Ceratops. Which means there is a potential for, well, issues to arise. Because obviously, Atrax doesn't know or doesn't understand how Alberta Ceratops work. They don't know. He doesn't really know what he is. He just knows that he's different to everyone else that he's been with. We may even not even get far enough into doing much before we get killed off. We might get killed off really early. We don't know how this is going to go. I think we're actually going to go south looking at this. Uh, yeah, so we need to go across here. But we're going to see what sort of shenanigans we can get up to. Obviously, poor old Atrax is very slow. He's a defense build. He's not very fast at all. But hopefully he's going to be able to do something if he gets attacked by a predator at any point during this uh, during this episode. I don't wish to lose Atrax in this second episode. But if it happens, it happens and we'll end up, uh, we'll end up moving on to a new dino. So I said I was thinking about going south, but... Looking at the map, I think it might be more prudent to go north, go left here, rather than go in south. I mean, we came from south in, in the original episode, in the first Atrax episode. We came from the south. We came from down here. So I think we carry on up this way. We try and cross over this at some point. Might even be able to swim across it in one of these open bits here. And then we can move up through and head over towards sort of the Grand Plain sort of area. Or maybe it is better to go south and come across here. Yeah, we'll go south and we'll come across here. We'll go this way. And we'll come across onto the plains over here or here and come up to it. Okay, so we're going to turn around. We're going to go down here. Now, we're going to follow the path purely for the point of I don't really know where I'm going. Now, I think there's another Alberta Ceratops herd on here. I don't know where they are or where they're likely to be. But I think if we just walk around, we don't purposefully try and join the group. We... Because obviously then we'll know where they are. So I think the mission is to find where they might be. And go from there. So think about it. If you were an Alberta Ceratops, where would you be? You know what I mean? And I think this area is... This sort of area would make sense to me. There's an Alberta Ceratops. Maybe maybe this area. I don't think you'd be down here so much. I think you'd be more around here. But again, I don't really know. I don't I haven't spent much time playing Alberta Ceratops. I don't have much experience with them. I'm I'm highly expecting to lose my first battle with a Pred, to be honest. I'm expecting a Pred to attack and us to lose. If I'm being completely honest, I haven't got much experience with uh, fighting with these. And while Atrax looks incredible, he's still sporting those scars from that... Uh, what was it that we were trapped by? That that, that croc? The Sukasaur... Suk, what's he called? I keep forgetting the names of these. Uh, Sarkasuchus, Sarkasu Sarkasu is it? The crocodile? So we're coming up on the river now. Is this river salt water or normal water? We're about to find out. I've got a feeling it's going to be salt water with how close we are to the sea. The sea is obviously just down in that direction over there. I love the way the light was shining through them trees then. Look at that. That is superb. 
So we need to get to the other side of this. Now, obviously, we're not a swimmer. We don't like swimming. This is salt water, as expected. So we don't like swimming. But I think we're going to attempt to get over this anyway. We have a really slow swim speed. But because we've walked the entire way here, we should be okay to get through with no issues. Let's shake that water off. What does this one do? Oh, okay. So looking at the map, we're going to carry on into here and we're going to start edging up. We're going to come up to this path here and we're going to start edging up down the, around this way. I think. Now these look ideal hunting grounds for a T-Rex. I will be honest. This looks like an ideal hunting ground for a T-Rex. And I think this is our next body of water that we can actually drink from as well. So we've got yeah, dark woods. If that doesn't scream T-Rex hunting ground, I don't know what does. I think if we get I think if we get attacked by one, we might be able to survive, but if we get attacked by like multiple carnos, I think we're in trouble. So according to Discord. Ooh, this pine goes there. According to Discord, this herd that uh, is currently roaming around on this map at this very moment. Because obviously I can see the group advertisements. This herd that's roaming around at the moment is about nine Alberta Ceratops strong at this very moment. So if we find them, like we're going to find pretty much all the Albertas on the server. They probably think they have all the Albertas on the server. They probably don't realise that uh, good old A-Trax here is, uh, is also an Alberta on the server. Now, I would say we haven't seen anyone yet. But I think the fact we haven't seen anyone yet is probably a very good thing. I'm hoping... I can drink from this. No. Okay, so the nearest water spot is up here. So we're going to follow this up here, I think. And just hope that we can actually get across this. If not, we'll come all the way up and round. We're going to come away from the water's edge a little bit. I think being too close to the water's edge is probably a bad idea. I want to keep my stamina up, hence why we're only walking all over the place. Yeah, but like I said, I don't think this is the territory for an Alberta. This, this feels like it, we shouldn't be here. It's too dense. We can't really run in here. And not only that, the... I'm sure we could do... See, look. Getting stuck on stuff that we shouldn't be getting stuck on. That is one thing I don't like about the game. So I'm thinking Albertas are going to be up in this sort of territory now. This is where I'm thinking. I think we're too close to potential issues here. Wait, how far, how close to the water do I need to get? It's suddenly I can't drink this water. There we go. Okay, let's go. Before we get attacked. <laughs> Again, not the best terrain, looking around. There's going to be parts where we're going to be slower, like walking up these. We aren't going to have that free reign to use our 
abilities like the charge, like the... It's going to be all in close combat. Luckily, Albertus have a pretty good turning circle. They're pretty quick on the turn. So, hopefully that's going to be enough to protect us. We're going to see if we can eat these acorns here. We can. So, let's pick these up. There is a lot of uh, grain on stamina with our moveset. So we're going to, if we get attacked, I think we're going to run. And we're going to get so far and we're going to try to basically hold out. If we can, try and out stamina anything that chases us. If we get attacked by something that can sort of keep with us in terms of speed, which, I mean... Let's be honest, being a defense build, we're pretty slow. Then I, I think we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to turn and fight and use what little stamina we will have to defend ourselves. But the main thing is to try and out, out stamina anything that attacks us. I believe Albertus have really good stamina, so. Now, this is the sort of area that I'd expect to see in Alberta. That being said, it's also the type of place where you'd expect to see a carnivore or two. But yeah, if, if, if I feel like I'm not outrunning whatever it is that's uh, chasing me, if it's sticking to me, and it's putting damage on me, I think I have to turn and fight. I don't think I can outstam, outstam it if it's still trying to hurt me. But I could probably swim. From here to over there. And then from over there across. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to get over either. Otherwise. So let's go for it. Let's swim. This is probably a bad idea. But we have that big stamina, remember? We're just really slow in water. Okay. That's stage one done. Stage two is to get to the other side now. And then we all walk up there. So, here we go again. Stage two. Come on. We're nearly there. Awesome. Awesome. Now, the idea of walking along here is, with the cliff at our back and our side, well, the cliff at our side and the drop at the right, Preds have either got to come towards us or from behind us they're the only two ways they can come that is my hope anyway although they could I suppose if they're Danons they could drop off there couldn't they Can you imagine if I get all the way up here? Okay, so... That's, uh... I think I'm going to message this Alberta herd. And see if that one appears. See if I get an invite. Like, 
I just watched that Alberta come from there. So maybe... If there's a... Like, is there more than just 10 Albertas on? Is he part of the Alberta herd or is he not part of the Alberta herd? Now I feel like I should be following him. He suddenly came sprinting from that direction, but there's nothing there. So I feel like he's heading towards something. Or someone. Maybe it's time to check out the Grand Plains. I thought they might be on, on that little island. Why is he suddenly running again? Why is he suddenly running? He's gone. And I am never going to keep up with him. I am so confused as to what is happening right now. <laughs> Thing you have to remember is, Atrax has never met another. Alberta. So he's a little confused as to what is happening. I'm going to go with this Alberta. The thing is, I've, I don't play Alberta, so I don't really know. Okay, I think we've been accepted, but this is this has got to be a female. It's a lot smaller, or at least it looks like it's a speed build more than a defense build, like Atrax is. See, Alberta Herd is here. That's an Alberta walking away on his own. Dying on. There's a Dane on. Red and blue. Could be Fousey. Me and this female Alberta have gone separate ways. That is absolutely mad that I've been recognised. Did not expect that. I think I'm in trouble here. I 
I did not even see that Rex behind me. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, Lord. Go the other side. Go the other side. I'm going to go the far way around. I'm going to go this way. Purely just to try and stay away from these Rexes. These Rexes go for me. I'm in trouble. There's one there, one there. There's two of them. They're squaring off with each other, so hopefully they're not going to pay attention to me just sneaking around here. <laughs> see if I can get across this map. I can see another... I can see a Megalania over there as well. There's a Rex and a Megalania, so I'm going to try and scoot around this way and just sort of go around the back. This is not the place for a lone Alberta Ceratops, I don't think. Not for one as inexperienced as I am, anyway. Hence why we are sprinting. There's a patch. There's a thal up there. Oh, we are being surrounded. Yeah, some action on the Alberta!
<laughs> Everyone saying hello to YouTube. Welcome to YouTube, everyone. <laughs> I am new to Alberta, guys, so you're going to have to forgive me. Why would you risk attacking a herd this big? There's another Alberta over there as well. Wow, it gets so loud. <laughs> Is he looking for it or is he going? I can't work out whether he's looking for it or whether he's going. He's going. Okay, he's going. That's why you don't fight us. <laughs> well, these Albertas are strong. <laughs> I've never played with them before. Oh, there's one that looks so similar to me. There's a Rex up there. I think that's a Rex over there as well. This, oh, this is intense. This is intense. I should have played Alberta more often. There's the Rex. This is insane. This is superb. I am loving every minute of this. It's following. Although I think it's already got a body, so I don't think it needs to follow us. Yeah, it's already got a body. We're good. God, that was so much fun having all that. <laughs> that was so much action in like such, uh, such a small little amount. It was like no action up until that moment. For the entire episode, there was no action. Then all of a sudden, there's just loads of action. I was superb. Yeah, so the problem we've got is both on the Iguanodon and on the Alberta Ceratops, we have defense builds. It means we are incredibly slow. But, in all honesty, I don't actually mind all that much. I don't actually mind being more defensive built. Not so much on the Alberta, but on the Iguana, I think I need to speed. 
Draxel up a little bit, but we I suppose we can keep him as defense it's a bit slower. I was so shocked that somebody knew me in here. That Al Duck Al Duck Enjoyer knew me in here. That was not expected at all. So we finally found a herd for every dino we are doing at the moment. We found a herd for, for Atrax the Alberta. We have the Northern Lights clan for Latrine. And we have the Iggyception Iguanodon herd for Draxel. So we finally have a herd for each and every dino we are currently using on this channel. When one dies or passes away, which could be soon, it might not be. It depends what happens in game. Then we will move on to creating a new dinosaur. As we've got two herbivores and one carnivore at the moment, the next dinosaur to come through will be a carnivore. So we'll just take it in turns. So we've got obviously Latrine is the main carnivore on the channel at the moment, with uh, Draxel and Atrax sort of having two episodes between them in regards to the herbivores. So we're going to keep it like this until one of them passes away. When one of them passes away, then we will get. Another carnivore in place. I don't know what carnivore that will be. It depends what comes up in nesting when I'm looking. So it will be a dinosaur that gets nested in. I think I, that's how I want to do every dinosaur. Like both um, Latrine and Draxel were nested in. Atrax, on the other hand, was not. And it took me a lot longer to find a full herd with Atrax. Although, having the difference with um, Atrax obviously having to find a herd. He herded up with the Iguanodon with the bars before he then became a member of this herd. I think, uh, I think there's very much room for that sort of thing to be done so Draxel's gone from having his face bitten off unknowingly by a a Sarkasuchus if I'm right that I believe that's the right one to now joining in fights against other carnivores he still doesn't even understand how to be an Alberta Ceratops at this moment you know what I mean so how he's managing this, I don't know. But did I not say that this would be the place where we could find them? They were herding this way anyway. They just took a little bit longer than, uh, than expected. <laughs> Everyone's, everyone wants water. Oh, and there's some flowers over there as well. That ink is going to eat all of. <laughs> While we fill up with water. Beautiful. Unfortunately, like with the Iggyception, I don't think I'm going to be able to list everyone in the title like I can with the Northern Lights Clan. So, everyone that's in this video, you will all fall under the Alberta Nation. I will thank the Alberta Nation for allowing me to come into the group and be part of the migrating herd we look very similar to uh, is it leon here or is it yeah leon we look very similar to this one here this ink the colors on him are incredible God, how close did they get without us knowing? Oh! That made the old heart go. <laughs> they snuck up on us there. I was reading one of the bios. I was reading... One of the bios on the... Oh, Lord. <laughs> I was reading a bio on the on the Discord server. The bio of Talisha. And next thing I hear, I hear is the 
a couple of them start howling, and I look up, and there's just like two, two carnos right in front of me. Lord, jumped out of my skin. Jumped out of my skin. It was like, quick, get up, start shouting. <laughs> Oh, dear me. <laughs> We're stampeding. <laughs> Oh no, Sydney. Sydney might get caught here. Oh no, Sydney's with us. He's following us, though. Might have no choice but to fight here. Camto's screaming, so Camto says, Oh, he is here. It is still following. I think we've got to fight it on our own terms. I think that's going to have to be the way. If it continues to follow us, we've got to fight it on our own terms. Gone for the Iguanodon. Thank God. It's going after the Iguanodon. Easier meal. Easier meal. It followed us all that way and then went for the Iguanodon. He's there, but he's he's with them. Is he gonna ambush them and they've got no idea? Here he comes. There he goes, look. Is he going for... He is going for one in particular. They're all running round. Is he going to get one? That one's going down. That one it's attacking is going down. That's got to be on death marks now, surely. You got one then. I hope that's not the exception heard. Scars on males would be cool. I mean, my, my, mine's got a scar on his face. Nowhere else. Only on his face. From a from a croc.
Miles are fighting. Well, that was eventful. Albertas have no issue just going at each other straight away. We're stampeding again. Shake the head at it. My lord. <laughs> Another Rex. Rexes just follow us all over the place. That one came from behind. Once again, we had to run. <laughs> oh, my lord. T Rexes just do not give up, do they? Thank you for tuning in. If you have enjoyed it, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow with some more of Latrine's adventure unless I can get Iguana unless I can get the Draxel run in if not it will be Latrine's adventure but I will see you all soon have a good one and goodbye